and today we're going back to basics. This is an idea for a video I got from somebody who DM'd me on my Instagram. The DM said, I was wondering if you could do a video on how to do the perfect foundation base. I'm having trouble making it look glowy and bright and not oily. So I put it to you guys on Instagram stories if this was something that you wanted to see and it was a resounding yes. So I'm gonna do that today. It's gonna be just the perfect glowy complexion. We're gonna go over foundation, concealer, highlight, maybe bronzer as well. I haven't really decided, we'll see how we go. And then I also asked you if you were on the normal to dry side or oily combo because I personally am normal to dry skin type but the majority of you are oily combo so I didn't want to leave anyone out I'm gonna do both today I'll leave some time steps down below if you just wanted to skip to what you think you are suited to but without further ado I'm gonna start with the normal dry routine so we're going to start with the Mecca Cosmetica illuminating primer So this routine is a little bit of a lighter, more dewy finish for people with drier skin. It's also really good in winter time. It's kind of more of my go-to in winter. So I'm going to mix half of the Studio Flex Studio Fix by MAC. This is in NC30. I know this is kind of a heavier foundation for most, but I mix it half with the MAC Strobe Cream. This is in Pink Light, and that really thins it out and gives it kind of more of a dewy finish. So that's the sort of ratio I've done. Almost more of the strobe cream actually. And then just mixing that on the back of my hand. And just buffing that in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. Going in with the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer. This is in the shade Warm Honey. I just popped this on the circles just there. And I'm gonna leave that to dry down a little bit. So you can see my skin has quite a glowy, glassy, dewy effect and I'm gonna keep adding to that with creamy products. I'm not gonna use powder products in this first routine. So I'm using the Too Faced Bronzed Peach. This is in Toasted Peach and it is a cream to powder formula. So it does dry down to a nice dry finish but it goes on nice and creamy and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it which will add to the overall look. And I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush for this one. It's a little bit denser than the other brush. And then just bronzing all over. I'm just dabbing it to hug the cheekbone so in that way it's going to work as my contour also so I won't be contouring after this. Going in again with my buffing brush and just making sure that we don't have any harsh edges. All right, looking nice and bronzed, I'm going to pat out my concealer now, just with a beauty blender. I'm gonna keep the blush quite light. So again, a creamy to dry formula. This is the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks blush in the shade So Peachy. Like that and then I'm just gonna run that over with my finger just in the center of the cheeks for a nice flush
So that's just added a little rosy flush of the cheeks, which I think really ties in with the, you know, glowing and lit from within look. And for me, this is usually enough. I find that the skin's nicely illuminated and I don't need a highlight, but I know for a lot of you, a base isn't finished without a highlighter, so I'm going to add one now. This is the Frank Body Illuminator, and again, it is a creamy product. And I'm just gonna pop that across the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, all the usual spots. It's quite a balmy consistency, so it gives you a dewy finish still, but just adds that little bit of sheen to the skin. So now the skin is shining in all the right places and I'm going to lock everything in with a dewy setting spray. So this is Chill by Urban Decay. 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 Alright, let me just quickly fill my brows in, put a little bit of lippy on off camera and I'll be right back. This is it for the first base. It is a very glass-like, you can see that luminosity in the skin and it's super, super comfortable. So if you have dry to normal skin types or your skin suffers a little bit in the winter time, this is a really good foundation base routine for me. And now we're gonna move on to something that is a little bit more long wearing and if you have an oily or combo skin type, this is probably a little bit better for you in terms of hold. Let's wipe this all off and get started. All right, I'm back with a fresh face. I left my brows on because I can't be bothered to do that again. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Primer for this. And then I'm going to use the MAC Strobe Cream, the same pink light shade. And I'm just going to dab that over the places where I need a little bit more luminosity. I'm going in with concealer now, something a little bit more full coverage. It is the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I'm in the shade Sugar Biscuit and it's a nice quick drying foundation. It's a nice quick drying concealer. So I can pop that on before my foundation. And blending that out with my beauty blender. So I'm getting that super highlighted look under the eyes. I'm just gonna pop a little bit in the center of my forehead and on this little blemish. Now that we're looking very ghost-like, I'm gonna use a Dior Backstage in 3W and the Touche Clark Glow Shot. And then again, approximately half and half, but the consistency of the Touche Clark is much thicker than the strobe cream that we used in the first look. So I find that this has a little bit more hold and coverage. And then again, using the Real Techniques buffing brush, and I'm gonna stipple that in going straight over the concealer. Next, I'm just gonna lock in the areas that I know are gonna be a little bit oily through the day. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Invisimat powder, just with a fluffy brush. Then I'm gonna go straight over the top of that and the rest of the face with something more illuminating. So this is a Becca Be A Light palette and it is just this first shade here, the Brighten Powder. It's got a little bit of a radiant finish to it. So you can see that locked in the foundation, but it has more of a kind of dewy effect still. So I'm going to bronze up the face now in the same palette. I'm actually just going to mix those three now and then bronze all over. This is actually a really good palette because all of the powders have kind of a radiant effect to them. So even though powders are quite dry, you still get that really nice glow. I wouldn't
wouldn't normally go ahead and contour with this kind of finish because it doesn't look as natural but for the sake of giving you guys a more sculpted look I'm going to use NARS Casino just with a fluffy tapered brush so it's not too harsh and then just sculpt in the cheekbones forehead and the jawline moving on to highlighter I'm using Becca's Prosecco pop a nice golden shade and then I'm buffing it into the skin in circular motions to give it a real lit from within look Using a MAC blush now in the colour Peaches for a bit of a flushed cheek. My camera automatically shut off. I keep forgetting that it does that. So I just popped some mascara on while my camera was off. And I'm just going over my brows. Because they got a little bit powdery there. Going to give myself a little bit of a lippy. And as you can see, I do have that glow and luminosity in the skin without an oily finish because everything we used was quite powdery. So everything is nice and dry. And we're going to lock everything in now with the MAC Fix Plus Spray. All right, there you have it. This is my more full coverage version of how to achieve the bright, glowy glass skin finish without worrying that you're gonna look greasy. So I hope this does help anyone with combo to oilier skin types. And just in general, if you need a makeup base with a bit more longevity to it, a little bit more full coverage, I hope that this is helpful for you. Either way, I hope one of these tutorials has helped you here. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to everybody who always does DM me and suggest or ask for tutorials that you want I do read all your DMs even if I can't reply to all of them so thank you so much and yeah keep them coming in and until next time I'll see you guys around Mwah.